The Pioneer program on Kronos ZK AVM has concluded and rewards are claimable based on your ranking. But was the reward worth it? And how is ZK doing these days anyway? Well guys, I would say let's strap in and let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm the one and only Coin Baron, and this video is sponsored by Moonlander, the most crazy leverage platform on Kronos that I have ever seen. But first, guys, I do want to talk about this over here, the Pioneer Program Awards, because let's not beat about the bush. I earned about 400 US dollar worth of tokens on Kronos CK EVM with the Pioneer Program. And everyone can right now check their rewards on the official Kronos website. So if you check the rewards, you can see I earned about 800 ZK Crow, about 260 VUSD, and about, well, a few dollars worth of H2, full crumb, and also Ampli. So not really worth that much, but overall, 400 US dollar is not too bad. A quick introduction to the people that missed the Pioneer program. The Pioneer program was the introduction to the Kronos ZK EVM chain. And to get a points, you had to do a few things. For example, social tasks, you can bridge Crow to the ZK EVM network, or you can actually do things like use the platforms on ZK, like Mplay, like H2, like Fulcrum, like Ibitious Bay, like Push Shop Fun. So many platforms that were on ZK, and the more you used it, the more points you would get to actually earn more Pioneer points. And those Pioneer points were, in the end, converted really into multiple brackets. And the one I got into, so top 100, got that $400 worth of tokens. From what I heard within the Crowfam community, the majority is quite happy with the rewards they got. Personally, I think it's quite okay-ish. If you actually want to get into the top 100, you had to do quite a bit of work, quite a lot of transactions, day in, day out. And then you were rewarded with about $400, US which is okay. But if you compare it also with other projects right now that are quite hot, for example, we got Pengu here. And for Pengu, I literally had to do nothing and I could claim about 2,000 Pangu tokens here that were worth about $60. So nothing and I got $60 because apparently I'm an OG EVE user. Anyways, probably I'm just a bit spoiled with all kind of other airdrops in crypto. But for now, I do think $400 is absolutely fine, especially because of course, there's not the only incentive. If you use, for example, H2, if you used Ibitious, if you used any platform really, there were plenty, um, there are still plenty of incentives to actually use the ZK chain. The main reason to keep using ZK for me are the yield bearing tokens. The simple fact that right now I'm holding ETH or VUSD here, that I don't have to stake or don't have to do anything, and I still get some return on the investment, that is absolutely amazing. Especially if you start combining it right now with, for example, farms on platforms like H2, where you get an additional 21% on your CRO. Personally, I'm also using a lending protocol like Ampli to really get that triple yield effect. And honestly, it is a really unbeatable combination together, especially once you start comparing it against what you can get, for example, on the crypto.com app, with, for example, the Airdrop Arena or with the Supercharger, because they are talking about 3%, 4%, maybe 6% right now. But on chain, guys, you get the benefit of also having your own keys, your own wallet. It is really more flexible. There's no lockup, really. And it is about 30% right now on chain once you start combining all these different facts. So going back to the Pioneer points, well, it is really the icing on the cake because the real deal, guys, is what you can earn on chain. And there are also other ways to earn more on chain. For example, with our sponsor of today's video, Moonlander. Long, short, you can do it all on Moonlander with crazy leverage up to 1000x for the true DGENs. The platform has a clean UI and transparent fees, and you can easily start a transaction from your wallet. A few moments later. With all build in tools, you can determine where to take profit by closing your position manually or automatically, and then you can realize your profit. Moonlander just launched on ZK EVM, so check them out in the link in the description down below. But let's talk a bit more about the ZK chain overall. DeFi Llama is a tool that collects data from basically all public blockchains. And you can easily see that Ethereum is still the number one in a blockchain, even though it has lost 
quite a bit of market share since 2021. If you scroll down now, we can see all the blockchains that are ranked right now. And on number 16, we can find Kronos. That is a normal Kronos EVM chain. We have to scroll down all the way, all the way, all the way to number 67 to go to Kronos ZK EVM. In the green bars, you can find the volume and you can easily see that after the launch, really the volume has been dwindling on the ZK EVM chain. However, after a recent CRO pump in price also, the ZK EVM chain starts to get a bit more momentum again, but still it is very much below the volume that we do see on the Kronos EVM chain. Moreover, down below a ranking of the biggest dApps available on Kronos ZK EVM. And the biggest one right now is H2 Finance. But what worries me a bit is that right now here in the top five, at least three protocols are related somewhat to Kronos Labs. So H2 Finance, Vino Finance, and Fulcrum Perpetuals. It's a bit of a chicken egg problem, but to become more relevant as a chain and to also go up in the ranking, Kronos ZK EVM needs to attract a more diverse group of builders on their blockchain. Because right now, it is mainly spin offs of existing projects that are already available on Kronos. There's not really a great reason to go use Kronos ZK EVM over Kronos right now. Also, if you focus more on the point that ZK EVM is an L2 rollup, we can even find that even there within the rollup space, Kronos ZK EVM is not that relevant right now. The biggest ones remain Base from Coinbase and Arbitrum. And really, guys, in the margin, on number 17 here, we do have Kronos ZK EVM. Above, though, Optimism BNB. So this is a second roll-up chain from Binance. All in all, we do have to conclude that Kronos ZK EVM is not that popular right now, even though we do see a slow rise in the volume. Having said that, my preferred chain to use day to day is Kronos ZK EVM because it's faster than Kronos, it is cheaper than Kronos, and it really utilizes those yield bearing assets that I really like. And I know Liquid Crow is available, but not really used on the Kronos EVM chain. But there I really start to struggle, guys, because unfortunately, not all my favorite dApps are available on ZK EVM. Not all my favorite tokens are available on ZK EVM. Even more concerning for me is that new projects that want to launch something for the Crow fam are not even considering Kronos ZK EVM and just straight go to EVM right now. So I really want to see what's the master plan behind the vision of EVM, ZK EVM, and also still Kronos POS. Because really, guys, you are maintaining right now three chains. And if I learned anything from my career in IT is that, well, more is not always better. So I do hope, I do really hope that we get something in the roadmap for Kronos that is going to really unify the experience for Kronos EVM, Kronos POS, and also Kronos ZK EVM. So you can, if you're listening by any chance, please feel free to share that vision from Kronos Labs with the community. But guys, I also want to hear from you. What do you think about Kronos ZK EVM? Are you happy with the Pioneer points? Are you happy with your rewards? Do you still use ZK right now? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're at it, guys, don't forget to also hit the like button and also subscribe for more because I do think I want to do more content as well about on-chain opportunities and what you can do with the on-chain wallet as well. Anyways, if you want to learn more, I also have a video here that really talks more about what ZK EVM really is.